Rose, level up. Dave, level up. Rose plus Dave, weak spoils. You both also get one of these. Now you can start flapping your traps with wild abandon at anyone you please. You see? I told you they would bring your body. Okay, well, I believed you about that, but yeah, I can see that. Ugh. Can someone get rid of that thing, please? Oh, Solux, let's do it. What? The corpse party. There's no better time and there's so many corpses here to work with. Is everybody okay with that? Do you want to have a big corpse party? We can incinerate the remains of the sun, it'll just be glorious! Corpse party? Rose, can you please explain to my friends what a human funeral is like? Of course. I would describe it as an occasion marked by a great deal of jubilation at the expense of one or more well-dressed cadavers. <laughs> oh god! I couldn't have put it better myself. Could you go into more detail? Well... In my experience, a loved one, typically an elder, arranges to have the departed placed in a small box, and then forces you to stand in the rain all day. Then, presumably winded by all the deeply ironic catharsis, she gets drunk and passes out on the couch. Oh my god, we are never gonna stop fucking with each other, are we? Even without computers. Hmm, that sounds just a tad specific. We may have to adapt the proceedings to be a little more... I don't know, multicultural, I guess? Ah. Uh... Why don't you all do some brainstorming about what kind of funeral to have while I go round up the bodies? I'm out of here. Fuck! Will you call it on the corpse party shit for a minute? What's the matter? I mean, everybody here has just met and I guess just went through a lot of really heavy bullshit. Do you think that maybe this isn't the best thing to harp on right now? Um, I just thought it would be a nice thing to bond over. Not everybody is as into death as you, though. Like, it's cool to see you so excited about something, I'm seriously thrilled about that. But frankly, it's all pretty fucking morbid to everybody. I just thought you should know. Am I really that bad? Yes. Oh, sorry. I guess I spent enough time here that I just don't see death as a terrible thing the living make it out to be. I honestly feel like it's a reason to celebrate. That's okay, Aradia. No one's blaming you. I actually think your whole death fangirl thing is funny and kind of charming. Death fangirl thing? What do you mean? Oh, come on! You are practically beside yourself with giddiness at the idea of serving as the maitre d' to all dream bubbles. You love being the caretaker of wayward souls and dreamers. Luckily, you make an adorable handmaid to the master of death, especially in your cute cherry pixie ensemble. You think so? I'm gonna have to go with my fellow seer on this. See? Even snooty Miss Cantaloupe robe agrees. Oh, and guys, just for the sake of multicultural clarity, we trolls treat death itself as a mythological figure. He is a man with a frightening skull for a head and a terrible hypnotic glare. All the legends say he's got this super foxy handmaid to do his dirty work. I mean, this is all fantasy, of course, but we can't really understand each other's cultures unless we understand the myths behind them. Yo, Terezi, we've got a Grim Reaper, too. Shit isn't that novel. I mean, I think even a civilization full of the laziest sons of bitches are gonna make up a myth figure for death. Like, ooh, watch out, death is coming for you. He's got, like, a skull and shit. I basically have no fucking imagination. That sounds badass to me. Wait, wait, no, how about he's got a black robe too? And a fucking scythe to fucking slash at you with in case you didn't die all the way or whatever. Damn, now you're talking, bro. Let's go ahead and stick that in our culture forever. So what you're telling me, Dave, is that we both have death and cotton candy? Hell yes. We might as well be the same damn species. Fuck! Is it going to shut everybody's great time if I dare to bring up important things now? Is it safe to poke our heads up from this gulch of idiotic banter and see if the coast is clear for adult business-like conversation? Yes, yes, humans. So nice to meet you. And it seems your god tears now? Neat, yada yada, what the fuck ever. 
just one question. We followed that green beacon of what I thought was the aftermath of a successful blow up the sun mission. And after a breakneck warp speed journey in which my best fucking friend ever psyched me out into thinking he died yet a fucking again by expelling leader after gruesome leader of grub sauce from his every orifice, what do I find here? Why, in addition to a pair of humans draped in circus wear and all their flippin' guides locked and goddamn loaded, it seems we've also chanced upon none other than the green fucking sun itself. Which, unless my raw, running candor bulbs are still a little grief bleary, strikes me as being somewhat rather fucking unblown up. So what am I missing here? Dude, chill out. We just got hornswoggled is all. Oh, case closed. Okay then, let's start pitching dead pals into the limitless inferno. My curiosity was totally fucking sated just then. The sun will never be destroyed, Carcat. I'm sorry, but you are misinformed. Ha! Ah. More breathtaking reassurance! Everything will be fine, guys! We were just hornswoggled and misinformed! Carry on, then! Wasn't the whole point to take out the sun to neutralize Jack? It shouldn't be a problem. Oh no! Then what's the plan now? It's simple. We regroup, and then defeat him in person. Oh! Oh! Fucking oh! And here I thought the new plan was going to be something incredibly stupid and suicidal! Did I say, oh, yet? Because that's the sound I make when I'm fucking relieved! Honk. What? Honk! What does honk mean this time, you whimsical piece of shit? Don't you start with me. Do. Not. Start with me. I will get you in a headlock so tight, it will be a miracle if people don't mistake our tussle for an ill-conceived ventriloquist act! I will shoosh you again, so help me God! I will shoot your clown ass to shangri bullshit lawn back and fill your ear with my white hot pale bro spittle. I am full and fucking well prepared to get consolatory with you again if you so much as pass gas murderously. Do you understand? Is that what you want? Do I need to calm your big o sticky tent squashing shit down again? No, brother. I was just about to all say for you to try and get your settle down on, maybe? Huh? Man, what the hell even happened on this meteor anyway? Actually, don't even tell me. Okay! Okay, yeah! I guess... You're right! No, you're right! I should relax! And breathe! I mean... What are more rails for, right? This is how it works. I stop you from killing everybody, then you return the favor and calm me down, and I just... Breathe! Like this. Fuck! That sun is bright! Call me crazy, but it's kind of hard to relax within a stone's throw from... Oh, I guess the biggest fucking star any mortal has ever laid eyes on. Actually, I was just thinking it's nice to get a little sun after so long. Sure, that's all well and good for you, but I mean, can this be healthy? Are we going to get burned or have our retinas scorched by looking at it? Oh god, I think I'm having a panic attack. Carcat, you're embarrassing us in front of the humans. Fuck you! I can't breathe! It's so bright I need sunglasses or something! Quick! Which one of you awesome dudes has a radical pair of shades I can borrow? One moment... I was joking! Get those fucking things away from me! I am so sorry, you guys. We are actually a lot cooler than this. Are you actually? No. No, we are not. What is happening now? Someone tell me what's going on! Who's the leader now? Aradia, are you the leader? Or is it Rose? I have an idea, let's take the invincible demon head on, Lalan! I need to know who the leader is. I need to know in whose direction I must behave as the most pathetically useless subordinate I can. Quick! Someone boss me around! I'm fucking incompetent and roaring to go! That's what you do when there's a leader around trying to make plans, right? You drop your IQ harder than a pair of hilariously plummeting pants? You ceaselessly ramble about vapid bullshit? You run around hiding all of your worldly possessions in treasure chests? And then everyone starts murdering each other? If there's any other experience characterizing leadership, it's one I sure as fuck never had. So I need to know who the leader is. Strider, is it you? Uh... Carcat, I don't know if anyone cares about formal ranks like that anymore. Or if anyone ever did. But for what it's worth, I suggest from now on, you all listen closely to the advice of our human guests. Wait, really? Yes, no need to be so modest, Dave. Technically speaking, a night of time in a sphere of light is a nearly unbeatable combination. Okay, 
I don't really have any orders to give though, except for Carcat to shut the hell up because that horse shit is more obnoxious in person than I ever imagined. Oh wow! I would offer a retort to your vicious barb, except for the fact that unlike every asshole ever, I can actually follow orders and shut my mouth! Check it out, dog! Yes, you are off to an excellent start as a subordinate. Keep doing that. But Dave, don't worry, if you do not have instructions for us, the Knight of Time is not necessarily the tactician. He is a powerful warrior class which exploits the flow of time as a weapon. Rose is the one who must play the role of the strategist. The Seer class knows her aspect comprehensively. As a knower of all fortune, she can see the circuitous path that will lead to the most favorable outcome for everyone. Personally, I would defer to her judgment. Really? Can you do that? Yes. That sounds a lot more useful than my seer powers. Illumination of the road to victory for all is an asset considerably different from command over the outcomes of decisions made by individuals. How do you know your talents won't be critical in blazing this auspicious trail? Um, I guess I don't? <laughs> That's because you're not me. Okay, then what do we do? Nothing yet. But reasonably soon, within a certain window, it will be time to leave. We will then pilot this meteor as fast as we can make it go in that exact direction. What's that way? Nothing whatsoever. As of now, that way lies darkness and uncertainty beyond description. I see. Then perhaps we should reserve the infinite darkness plan for the maybe column for now. I think I'm even willing to let Dave take a crack at the logistics before we commit to that particular maneuver, daring though it sounds. Aw oh, yeah, I got sick nasty logistics up my sleeve. I just call them sticks for your information, which is how you know I'm way savvy about them. Most of the sticks I'm fine tuning at the moment involve rap though, I should warn you. But Dave, what if that dope as hell plan falls through, I can hear you ask. Plan B. Involves drawing some shitty cartoons and not giving a fuck about stuff. <laughs> I hereby second this cool dude's radical notions on grounds of ridiculously decadent attire. Yes, I'm willing to humor elaboration on this rap-centric plan and its apathy-based contingencies, even if it's excessively stupid. Trust me, it is. Just as you should trust me that by the time we leave, if we leave exactly within the designated window and are able to travel at nearly the speed of light, the meteor will trace a route through the furthest ring, which will topologically resolve as a straight line. It will lead us directly into the new session. For a brief moment, the sun will be visible from that session, and we will be riding the chartreuse coattails of its photons. This is why you all needed an advanced seer. I have become familiar with the ways of the fabric out here, but even I couldn't chart a journey that long or complex. That's because it's almost impossible to do so voluntarily. If we were to head right now in the session's true physical direction, it wouldn't be long before we found ourselves traveling in just the opposite direction. This is not even to speak of the chronological peculiarities. After traveling some distance, we could discover we were suddenly tailgating our own meteor from several days ago. If we are particularly unfortunate, we might even collide in an intersection of space-time with a meteor piloted by our own future selves. And if we looked closely at that meteor before impact, we might notice a very large dent in it which it originally suffered during the very collision we were about to experience. It takes precision and timing to reach your destination out here. And most importantly, the grace of the gods themselves. <laughs> <gasps> hmm? KK, what the fuck? Were you holding your breath that whole time? Yeah! So? Oh my god, you dummy! You don't actually have to hold your breath when you're being quiet! Okay, yeah, I mean, of course it sounds obvious when you put it like that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rose, I told you this dude is fucking incredible! Shut the fuck up! Look, I'm just a little out of practice at staying quiet for extended periods of time, okay? He really is. Anyway, whatever. So what you're saying, Lalonde, is we're going to be on this horrible rock a good while longer to get to this paradise session or whatever? Yes. And since we probably aren't going to force Sox's bullshit half-ghost or whatever to pop himself again like a packet of nasty fetid mustard so we can shoot this thing into hyperspace. Hey man, come on. Not cool. I'm guessing that means it'll take considerably longer to get there than it did to get here. Yes. 
I just knew it! This is my worst nightmare realized! When we first fled to this meteor, I had this weird feeling we'd end up spending forever at this miserable place, assuming we actually survived. I'm almost afraid to ask, how long is this trip going to take? Probably some absolutely preposterous amount of time, like three long maddening sweeps, right? Wouldn't that just be so cosmically convenient and perfect for everybody? Especially for the most important purpose of all, my uninterrupted continuum of personal agony. Thank you, Dark Gods. Thank you so fucking much. You win this round. You win all the rounds, apparently. There are no rounds, even. There's just your slimy tendrils, our naked bodies, and epics of molestation. Don't be ridiculous. It won't take nearly that long. Oh? It'll only take about three years. Okay. That's not so bad, I guess. Wait. How long are you supposed to be again? Wasn't it like two weeks or something? Yes, two. And then 50 more. Fuck! Car Cat, go back to holding your breath. This is going to be a wonderful adventure for everyone. I'm a bit jealous, honestly. Or I would be if I wasn't having such a good time with my dead fangirl thing. Hmm. So, you aren't coming then? No, I still have important work to do here. Ah. But that doesn't rule out the possibility we can meet again in Bubbles along your journey. I hope so. Yeah, I think I'll hang behind here too, if that's okay with you guys. Wait, what? No, come on, don't be like that. Be like what? A ghost? I don't think I belong with the living anymore. You're a half-ghost, asshole! What does that even mean? Why are you even taking this idiotic half-death seriously if you just go hog-wild as a fucking whole ghost and say stupid shit like, blah blah, I belong in the afterlife now like a dumbass? KK. Sorry. I'm just done with this crap. This insane adventure bullshit. It's nothing personal. I just want to spend time with AA and chill out and catch up with some of our dead buddies. Is that okay? Whatever, fine. I'm going back to not breathing again. <sighs> Maybe I will stay here too. Why? As nice as it sounds to move on, I don't know if I can stand three of your human years of more darkness. I like this sun, it's comforting in a strange way, like home. But what if we need your help? What could I possibly do? Aside from providing a light source as you navigate the dim corridors, I would function as a premium escort to the Load Gaper and that's about it. But Kanaya, you still have important work to finish too. We can't ignore our duties. What are you talking about? Our race is extinct, remember? And after a few more casualties, it is now hanging by a thread. Your job was to see the resurrection of our people. What real hope is there for that? The orb was destroyed. I was never able to duplicate it. The crest cost was astronomical. There's always hope, though. You just never know, and I don't think you should give up. Doesn't Rose know? Can't you see the path to victory on this matter? It's hard to say. Does the repopulation of your species qualify as a victory? These things aren't always clear-cut. Some outcomes are for your own judgment. What outcome would you like the most? I would like to have the orb again, and to keep it safe this time. And I guess not to be a total failure. Okay, if you follow my advice, I can at least promise you will find yourself in the best position to determine whether that may come to pass. Mm. Can you please come? Between the two of us, you with your inexplicably heretofore unmentioned phosphorescence and I with my nigh-reflective traffic cone orange sun sorry, the meteor should never be too dark. Salix, oh my god, is it just me or is everybody already fucking hitting on each other left and right? Oh god, I can't take sweeps of this shit! Don't leave me alone here, please don't! <laughs> well, alright. But must we really leave so soon? It's soon, or never, but not immediately. Even if the route were accessible right now, it would behoove us to wait. There's correspondence from John yet to arrive. Whoa, really? And after that, we have to wait for one final guest to appear. Then we ride like the solar wind. The race will be afoot. Wait, another visitor? Who? Fuck! Oh lord, now what? Bro, where the fuck is your body? Solix, where did your body go? Hell if I know. Oh no. Wait a minute. Wait just a fucking minute, where's... Shit. 
Friska's body is gone too! Wait, she's dead too? Err... Uh... You guys are so messed up. Where are they? Did anyone see what happened? Damn it! when the fuck will I learn not to turn my back on the bodies? Hold on. Oh no. Where's Gamzee? He took them. Look at the trails. Oh, fuck! No, fuck no! Fuck that corpse hoarding sack of horrible garbage! Wait, has the Juggalo troll been giving you guys fits like this or something? Like, this is a thing? Like a pattern? Nice guess, shithead! Oh man, one of you has actually got to sit me down and tell me what actually happened here. It all just sounds fucking amazing in the sort of stupidest way possible. I mean like, personal tragedies notwithstanding. Yeah, he does this! He sort of collects bodies and decapitates them and stuff. Sticks them in big science jars for some reason. I'm pretty sure he kisses them too sometimes. No, 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 I'm not listening to shit like that. I didn't even hear that. It's like, you know how every now and then your loose will bring some random dead-ass animal back to your hive for no fucking reason? They don't ever stop doing that no matter how much you yell? It's like that if you know what I mean. Not really. Oh, wait. Against all odds, I sort of do. Mine actually did do that once. Yes, there you go! When I was really young, he made this stupid leather bib for me out of a goddamn horse. For the ironies, obviously. Was that the one you mentioned had a pink heart on it? Yeah. Hmm. What? <laughs> it's just that, with the clarity afforded by my new abilities, it occurred to me just now that Dead Horse was likely the beautiful pet pony my mother gave me recently. It was crushed to death by your newborn ass. You bastard. Well, shit. That's a hell of a mystery no one thought was a mystery and didn't even really need solving, but damn if it didn't just get solved, so nice work. Thanks. Kanaya, where are you going? Clown hunting. Oh no. Are you sure you want to do that? I mean, who even cares if he stole some more bodies? He can have them, frankly, as long as it keeps him out of trouble. We don't need to have a fucking corpse party. Seriously, fuck that dumb idea. Alright, if you're really going to go, just be careful. No more pointless bloodshed, okay? That's an order! Wait, fuck. I'm not leader anymore. Rose, can you order her to do that? Just say what I said really angrily. Assuming you can even be angry. Wait, guys, something's happening. What the fuck is going on now? Holy! Fucking! Hey everybody, this is John. Actually, it's John, Jade, and Dave Sprite. We all contributed to the contents of this bucket. We have to make it quick because apparently you're going on a long journey just like us. I'm sorry I can't be there for the big meetup, Car Cat. I deeply regret that I will not be present for those highly touted troll human sloppy makeouts. <laughs> Maybe in three years, assuming you aren't all totally smooched out by then. I'm just kidding, by the way. Rose and Dave, you both totally look sweet. I can't believe you're both god tears now. Do you know that Jade is too? Also, she has dog ears. She looks fantastic. How cool is that? We're all god tears. It's like we're a superhero team or some kind of anime squad. Like the Sailor Moons, I guess, but not as lame or as sexy. I'm gonna miss the hell out of you both for the next few years. I'm already looking forward to the next session so hard. It was a fun adventure we had today, wasn't it? I'll even miss talking to the trolls too. Say hi to them for me. Even though I didn't get to know many, except Carcat, obviously. And oh yeah, Friska too. Friska, if you read this, thanks again for all your help. I don't think I'd have made it this far if not for you. Just thought you should know that. Jade and Dave Sprite both say hi and send their best wishes. But now Jade says I have to finish quickly. She wants me to throw this bucket and its heartfelt payload through the mysterious portal. So here I go. See y'all in three years. John. Garcat. Mental breakdown.
Who's this guy? The visitor I mentioned earlier. He'll be traveling with us too. Is he dead? We should be able to get him some help along the way, but only if we leave immediately. Luckily for him, we have no alternative. Jack will arrive soon. What? When I said the race would be afoot, I was being literal. He will follow our trail and match our speed. And since this is not the ideal scenario for a final showdown, the best we can hope to do is outrun him. Sounds like it's time to hit the fucking road then! How do we make this thing go anyway? Does it have rockets or something I don't know about? Maybe it does. I'm not sure. But one good push in the right direction should be all we need. I can help you with that. Solux, do you think you could lend me a hand? Huh? They'll need the biggest push we can give them. Oh. Yeah, sure. Wait, so one push is going to last three years? Let alone outrun Jack? Bullshit! Calm down, KK. It should be fine. You won't slow down. How the fuck do you know that? Troll Isaac Newton told him. Okay, whatever, let's just get on with it. In the meantime, we should set up some sort of checkpoint perimeter around the dead mayor guy. Just so Gamzee doesn't try to hoard his body or chop off his head. What is he the mayor of anyway? It kind of looks like he just made that sash himself. He's the duly elected mayor of the Ferdy Rumpus Asshole Factory, and he just cut the ribbon to a brand new museum full of priceless shut the fuck up! Okay, you guys can keep arguing if you like, but I'm going to send you on your way now. Then after you leave, I should be able to buy you a little more time. How's that? When Jack comes, I'll slow him down for a while. It won't be for very long, but it's the best I can do. That should help us greatly. Thank you, Aradia. You're welcome. Are you ready, Solux? End of Act 6, Intermission 1.